Well, we finally decided we're gonna go pull the motor out of this thing. We're thinking we got a blown head gasket or a cracked head. Hope it ain't a cracked block. We'll see when we get in there. We've got it almost ready to come out. I gotta go down there and unhook some starter wires. Make sure I got everything unhooked before I drop it. And we'll roll it out here on the floor and see what's going on. So let me double check everything and I'll turn the camera back. I'm a dropping the big bolts that holds that crater underneath there. Now I gotta go around and make sure that I don't see anything hanging so I don't rip nothing off. So Let me get it on down and then I'll turn the camera back on because it's going to take both my hands to fight with this thing. Well, it's out of there. It's a bitch. Getting it out. Only four big boats that holds it in. Right there. Right there. And the same on the other side. On this one, I just pulled the whole warrant harness. I just unhooked it from the computer, pulled it right out of there. So now, I need to start disassembling this motor, which is something which may not ever run again. But it wasn't no good the way it was. So, I'm going to tackle it, see what we find wrong with it. Maybe send that head off. Have it shaved, checked for cracks and everything. And one of these days, maybe we'll see if we can get this thing back together and give a little road test. So I'll turn y'all back on here in a minute. Got the valve cover and all off of it. We'll line up the timing marks now before I tear it apart. There's one, it's kind of a different color tooth, kind of a black tooth on the chain. And the other one right there. And before I take it apart, I got it at top dead center. Right there. So now I can take the rest of it apart 
and use this video to put it back in time. Well, I got her tore down to the timer chain. Black link to the dot. Black link to the dot. Black link to the dot. And there's a the timer chain automatic adjuster. Right there. So. and get that chain off her and pull the cams out of it and I'll turn it back on. Mark my cam caps. This will be one, two, three, four, five, six. That way I can put them back where they come from. Well I've got her pulled off. I don't really see nothing that's actually was leaking, but it was a couple, two or three head bolts that was looser than the others, so I'm thinking that might have been what caused it. Well, I've been watching a lot of videos on YouTube, and we ain't got that many machine shops around here anymore. So, this old car, we think the head gasket was blowed. It didn't, wasn't smoking, wasn't putting out a bunch of water or nothing like that, but it was getting air in the cooling system. So we jerked it down. And I do believe the head is a little warped. So, I've been watching on YouTube. I bought this piece of steel plate, probably weighs 15, 20 pounds, and I glued on some sandpaper. And I'm going to try to work this down like they're doing on YouTube. They seem to be having pretty good luck at it, so I figured we'll try our luck and see how it goes. It was low there and here. So I'm gonna wipe it down and keep doing this and see if this works and then I'll turn y'all back. Well, we got some black on here. That way I can see if there's any low spots when I sand it again. This head was warped about, about three thousandths in between the pistons. So we just used a Sharpie and we ain't got none of that blue dye I just took a sharpie one around it. I'll spray it with some WD, put my sander back up there, move it back and forth, and we'll see where the high spots are. I think we're gonna be alright. I believe we done got it down that it's fine. But I wanna make sure before we do all this work and put it back together. And then I'm gonna run it across the head of that top of that motor. See if we're getting warp or jar. And I'll turn y'all back on. 
starting to work on the block now. The block's in really good shape. There's a right there where the head gasket ring ran. There's a little bitty just discoloration. I'm gonna keep on till I get all that out, and then I'll basically be waiting on some parts, and we'll start putting this thing back together. <laughs> 